Over the last few years, I have noticed more and more questions and comments under my videos asking how to time-lapse without Adobe software. Now, I fully understand why you would want to move away from subscription-based software. So, in this video, I am showing you a few of my favorite products to make time-lapses without Adobe software. If you're a beginner, you're probably just shooting JPEG photos, which is totally fine for basic time-lapses without changing light, etc. And for that style of editing, I would go with an app like Glue Motion. There is a free and a very affordable paid version as well that supports the flickering, image editing, etc. There's also TLDF or TLDF Lite that works on PC. Glue Motion does RAW files as well, but I haven't properly tested that yet. Now, if you want to step up your skill level, make sure to check out my free ebook about time-lapse and hyperlapse photography down below. Speaking of stepping up skill levels, for the slightly more advanced user, you can use LR Timelapse. The free version allows up to 400 photos to be edited. LR Timelapse is now up to release number 7 and has the option to render time-lapses completely by itself, including color grading, as a standalone software without a need for Lightroom Classic. It also allows for HDR exports and many, many more advanced features that I will cover in a future LR Timelapse 7 video. If you want even more control, you can transform your RAW files to DNG files with the free Adobe DNG Converter and import those sequences into DaVinci Resolve or DaVinci Resolve Studio. Yes, this is Adobe software, but it's free, so at least you're not giving them any of your money. The DaVinci Resolve Studio version is in my opinion very much worth it as it is a single purchase and not a repeating subscription and has industry leading color pipelines built in as well as many other features that you would find in Premiere Pro and After Effects etc. Check out my DaVinci Resolve tutorial playlist below to watch all of my tutorials about it including hyperlapse stabilization and so much more. What other softwares do you use? Anything I should know about? Please let me know in the comments and thank you so much for watching.